In the early 1940s, while serving aboard the aircraft carrier USS Enterprise, enlisted man Charles Wheeler heard some unlikely news about a new officer. I heard about one of our new pilots had come aboard ship, that he was a Mexican boy. And I thought, I ain't believing that. Wheeler, too, had Mexican ancestry, but he'd never seen a Mexican-American pilot until he met Ensign Manuel Gonzalez from California. They soon grew close. We bonded uh, over our Mexican background, and it was like having a new friend. On the morning of December 7th, 1941, the ship was at sea, two days behind schedule. It should have been safe in port at Pearl Harbor. Prior to going into any port, we always sent a few of our aircraft in to make arrangements. So very early in the morning, they launched the dive bombers, and Ensign Gonzales happened to be in the second launching. And those are the ones that got there when, when the Japanese were, were blowing the place up. The planes from the Enterprise stumbled into the middle of the surprise attack and soon found themselves under fire from both sides. Back on the Enterprise, a startling transmission from Ensign Gonzalez broke the standard radio silence. He pleaded, don't shoot. Please don't shoot. Friendly aircraft. And those were the last words the man ever said. Americans lost a damn good pilot, and I lost a good friend. Ensign Manuel Gonzalez was one of the very first American casualties of World War II, one of an estimated half million Latinos who served in that war. They came from all over, the barrios in LA, the caserios of Puerto Rico, the pueblos of New Mexico, the farms and border towns of Texas. And they fought in all the major battles across Europe and the Pacific. And like other Americans, the experience would leave them changed. In just a few years, a Mexican-American doctor from Texas would be transformed into a tireless advocate of civil rights. On the home front, a teenage girl would overcome prejudice to join the war effort, helping to build bombers and fighters. Rosita, the Riveter. And an army soldier would become the first Mexican national to earn the Congressional Medal of Honor, only to be refused service in his home state. Fighting a war overseas would transform the Latino fight for civil rights back home. <laughs> 